Hello fellow unicorns, if you're wondering how I made this texture, make sure to check out this link where I explain in detail how to do water marbling aka painting on water to create amazing unique um, custom textures and what I did next after I made these textures I decided to cut them up into little pieces and try myself um, in some collage techniques. I used both of these uh, textures that I created to uh, make some sort of artwork that was inspired with the colors and the shapes. Um, personally, the two textures that I created were this vibrant yellow-green texture and this um, dark blue and golden texture, like a night sky. So what I ended up creating was this artsy concept of two girls representing sun and the moon and I will be adorning these girls with these textures but I also mixed up some uh, Arabic details in it like the little cowls covering them and just creating some sort of a sun and moon goddess vibe with the hint of um, mysterious Eastern mythology I really wanted to just combine so many visual elements into this and I really wanted to draw out their hands full of like kana tat tattoos and um, little piercings that they have with the symbol of the sun and the moon on it uh, sadly my camera decided to I don't know die on me or skip this part so I don't have the part of the video where I actually drew um, the kana tattoos on them but as you can see I just used these simple line arts to base my drawing of course I pre-planned this entire drawing by doing a sketch of it uh, and just putting it outside of the camera view so that I could plan out how to create different shapes with the cutout pieces of the textures um, as you can see a lot of stuff is not defined all of these pieces have just been laying around and I had to like uh, stick them to the paper and just see where they could fit in with each other of course when you're doing the collage technique the regular universal like um, paper glue is the best because you are going to make mistakes uh, there will be like a lot of change of plans and you will need like this very slow drying glue to help you out change your mind and then change the little pieces around and stick them in various places maybe unstick them and rearrange them so this is not an easy art technique it's something that's also to be practiced with and played with and don't get discouraged if you like don't get a really cool end result or something like that as i said like this is uh, an advanced art technique that like fashion artists use and practice a lot and just you really need to plan a lot in front like up front because you never know like how these colors might like end up looking if you're not like doing little swatches of color or something like that and definitely um, I imagined it to be a little bit different and even I am not like 100% um, sure how it would end up looking in the end but I kind of am proud because it ended up looking like something that I really did want to create and this is like some sort of a huge scaly or huge uh, feather looking texture that I created by um, cutting these uh, pieces into like feather looking shapes and just over overlapping them maybe even like overlapping them in into some sort of a scale shape so it's always fun and it's always uh, something that I would recommend when you're using um, this technique. You should definitely do a lot of layers. Just layering stuff will help you figure out what shapes you like, what colors you like. Uh, maybe try uh, connecting the dots, like literally connecting the pieces of the textures together. Um, and let's talk more about this next part where I'm literally using my hands to rip off the parts of the texture. I wanted this part to be ripped off to represent the moon goddess like something that's like more uh, edgy, more like torn. It's just my personal love towards the 
moon deities in different um, uh, like lores I guess because they are always like something like really dark and edgy and stuff like that and just I, I had the plan for this uh, so I used my scissors to cut out the yellow pieces because the yellow pieces were um, meant to be like graceful and smooth and royal and regal, you know, and then the the, uh, the sun pieces and the moon pieces I wanted to get like ripped by my own hands into different shapes. Uh, I wanted to have this sort of a uh, flowy hair texture behind that's like branching out in different like strands. Uh, it almost like reminded me of the um, hair that Bortz has in Hoseki no Kuni. If you guys watch Hoseki no Kuni, please make sure to leave a comment because it's one of my all time favorite anime and definitely will be drawing a fan art of it soon enough on my channel. So. Anyways, I wanted to... It was kind of hard to actually rip this these pieces into specific shapes and sizes that I needed. Um, it was kind of difficult to sh like really tear up these thin little strands and even like po pointy shapes because when you're not using the scissors, it can be a little bit tricky to have this raggedy look and yet have this look that's like calculated into sh certain shapes you need and certain sizes that you need. So anyways, um, layering is the key and definitely um, you will be seeing me changing my mind or just uh, raising the previously glued parts, like raising them up so that I can put a lot of different parts underneath so that I can get all of these strands to fit and overlap and like the colors to overlap. I ended up uh, using this huge yellow piece to just overlap the, the blue pieces to just make sure that she has this hood looking um, type of clothing and just proceeded to literally cover up my lost uh, parts of my covered up um, line art with some new line art on top. This is also very acceptable when you're doing collages because collage is literally a jumbled up um, mess that you create art from. Um, there is no specific rules, it's just that you should use a lot of different textures and mediums and just combine them with your drawings. So you can combine line arts, you can combine literally like uh, strands of um, a textile or like dried plants or like freshly picked plants or anything that's like weird and flat and you can stick it to your artwork and it will work. Um, try avoiding the collage papers that are like sold in stores for like little kids. Those usually do not apply for some more advanced styles of collages. Uh, for better and more successful styles of collages you should, you should definitely use some textures that you either like found online, printed out or or maybe created by yourself when you just like took some paints and created something that's like really weird shapes and uh, weird patterns I guess so and you should definitely combine that with some I don't know if you like line art you can use line art you can use watercolors I used to I literally chose for this video that I'm going to be using a combination of line arts, golden paints and collage that I created with water marbling. And this is something that I figured out would be some sort of a minimalistic approach. This is like almost a tattoo design. I didn't want to go for realism because usually you can't use your collages for too much of a realism like the collages are being used for like concepts ideas um, dreamlike symbolism artwork and stuff like that and even fashion design of course there is a lot of like concept art fashion and if you want to like add up on your character and create some sort of a shape or some sort of a concept art for a magical beast with a lot of like textures um, for example, you can use textures of fur or textures of like leaves and foliage and stuff like that. You can. So uh, I love collages because they let you dream. They let you be uh, very creative, uh, think outside of the box, improvise and just practice a lot of approaches that you're usually scared 
to uh, try out when you're painting or drawing. So collage is some sort of a technique that's almost like breaking the fourth wall. Like it's a drawing that's going outside of a drawing. It's literally like trying to uh, bring this person you drew or this concept you drew to life and just make sure that this looks like nothing that you actually have envisioned but something even more uh, and as i said don't give up if you're like halfway done and nothing looks like you envisioned it or like hoped for because collages are very tricky you need to um, figure out what's your personal best uh, type of combining techniques and which techniques actually go the best for your personal uh, aesthetics I just wanted to add some details with the gold color because I really really love gold color so I added some chains and some decorative um, details I'm not going to be like <laughs> An expert on which kind of like cultural approach I wanted to have I just went to like this inspiration place of like Scheherazade and uh, Thousand and One Night Stories and just went with this for the general aesthetics so I think it kind of like got the effect like the desired effect like when in doubt use the gold colors you can't miss it like <laughs> it's really something that's like a trick of mine and i really hope that you guys like this and that you like the design i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you would like to learn how to draw manga please check out my book manga crash course available in four different languages as well as my latest book manga crash course fantasy